have been blowing glass for 20 years and it's just, it has evolved. Over the years doing shows, you know, we catalog our work. It's really interesting to look back at some of the pieces, you know, because we're always moving forward. We're just constantly working, working, um, doing shows, selling, participating, um, demonstrating down at the Sawdust Festival. It's really neat to look back at some of the older photos, you know, and see the evolution of the work and how we've grown over the years. I've been exhibiting at the Sawdust for 18 years now. I started with the Winter Fantasy Show in 97, and we haven't stopped. It's been a continuous part of our lives since then. I love the Sawdust Festival. I love the outdoor setting. I don't participate in too many indoor shows. I love being at my hometown, right by the beach, the onshore flow, the, the breeze coming up, the glass blowing studio, being able to educate uh, the public on glass blowing. There's not too many places where you can actually watch glass blowing being performed. It's, it's just a really, really unique setting. I went to school for graphic design, so I was, you know, involved with the arts. I did my internship with Surfer Magazine. Then I was shortly after hired on. I th thought I found my dream job at that point. You know, Surfer, I work for Surfer Publications. I'm working on powder, Surfer, snowboarder, putting together, doing the typesetting, doing the design, the layout. And, uh, you know, when I met my wife, she made little glass beads. And after work, you know, I try it out and uh, I love the media. I love the way the colors blended together. And I just, you know, fell in love. The more she taught me about it, the more in love I became with uh, glass. Nicole has been an awesome partner in life and in the studio. I feel that we've grown the business together. She assists me, I assist her. But I feel that, you know, the synergy of us working together is, it, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, I hardly have to talk, you know, maybe even emotion, and she knows exactly what I'm thinking. She's thinking right ahead, right where I'm at. And I like to feel the same when I'm assisting her as well. The future uh, for us looks very promising. We're really excited. I feel like, you know, I've been on a certain plateau for a while, and it's time to kind of up that, move on to the next plateau. I do glassblowing because it has encased our lives. I fell in love with the media. There's so much to learn. I feel like I'm always a student with the glass. There's just so many different facets that it continues um, year after year, year after year. Once I think I've mastered something, I find new techniques, uh, new color patterns, and I'm always amazed. I do recommend being an artist. I just feel you definitely have to have an open mind and you know explore the different avenues that are out there on and not be limited. Hi, I'm Jason McQuaid, glass artist, Laguna Beach, California.